Hi and welcome to uh, Tales from the Solar Shed. Um, my name's Martin and uh, I run the uh, little house company with my wife. Um, one of the most popular items on our blog is about how we made um, these IKEA strip lights. They're called uh, Ledberg, LED Berg. Uh, work from 12 volts and I just wanted to uh, explain to you in video because it's going to be easier exactly how we uh, how we did that. The actual Ledberg kit consists of um, three of these strips uh, as you can see they've got one two three four five six seven LEDs and you can connect them together simply by pushing them like so okay so that uh, that forms the connection there um, and then you put another one on the end. Um, they come with uh, a transformer which plugs in uh, to the mains and then the other end goes on the first one of those so they just go together like that. Now um, what was interesting about the transformer is that if you look closely at it uh, you'll notice that the really important stuff is down here. Um, the fact that this transformer outputs 12 volts DC which is great because in a solar situation that's exactly what we're running and it runs, it gives from 0.42 of an amp, um, uh, sorry, maximum 0.42 of an amp and uh, up to um, 5 watts. Um, so in other words, this could run about uh, 9 of these, maybe maybe a bit more. Um, so when I saw this, I thought, well, this makes these strips ideal for running off um, 12 volt DC. Um, so let's see what we actually did. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do um, is basically cut the wire from the transformer because we don't need the transformer, but we do need um, this bit here, this connector, which is the which is the important thing. Um, so w once you've done that, uh, that's great. You can then um, discard or reuse the transformer somewhere else. Um, the other thing about DC as opposed to AC is it's really important that you get the wiring correct in terms of what's positive and what's negative. Um, on this, um, I don't know. You probably can't make it out, but on the wire on the there's two wires coming out here. This is the DC side. Um, on the lower wire, there is um, some writing. Now, generally speaking, um, the wire with the writing on is going to be the positive. Um, I wasn't entirely sure, so um, there's a couple of things you can do to make sure. One is that you can get yourself a cheap multimeter like this, and uh, you can turn it, the, the transformer on, and you can basically then test uh, which is uh, which is positive, which is negative. Basically, if you get the right way around, um, the LED, um, sorry, the multimeter will be reading um, plus 12 volts or thereabouts. If you get the wrong way around, it'll be negative uh, minus 12 volts. So you can work out exactly what's going on from there. Um, the other thing that I did, in fact, just to make sure, was because I was sacrificing this transformer, is I actually opened it up, um, used a screwdriver, you can get inside, and you can actually follow the wiring through, and you can see where the positive and negatives are. Um, some LED equipment um, is not sensitive. Um, so, for example, um, MR16 light bulbs, LED bulbs such as this one here, um, as you can see, it's got two pins, there is no right way and wrong way. You you can put this round in a socket either way. It doesn't matter. So there is a little bit of electronics inside here which will work out and sort out the polarity. But some LED lights are very sensitive and won't work if you connect them up wrongly. So um, once you've established which is positive and negative, then you can move on to the next step. Okay, ready to move on to the next step, and uh, we're going to keep this nice and nice and simple. So we've got here. Um, the uh, wire was cut off here, as you can see, and we've got the other end which goes onto the LED sockets. And all I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to wire it into um, these uh, clips. Um, in the UK, we call them crocodile clips. I know in the States, they call them alligator clips. These will just go straight on the battery, um, red positive, black negative, and then I've just got a little uh, uh, wiring block here. Um, so I'm just going to wire them into there. Okay, so to actually uh, do this, what I'm going to do is just use a few simple tools. I'm just going to cut the switch off because I don't want the switch. That's spare. And I'm just going to split the wire a little bit and I'm going to um, bare the ends. Okay, so I'm just going to use a wire stripper. You can also use a knife to do this. Um, obviously be careful. Um, so that's taken some off there. And I'll just do the same on that side. Okay, twist the wires together. And... I'll just bend them over because I don't need that much. Okay, so looking closely at it now, I can see that this wire here 
has got the um, writing on, so this is the positive. Um, so what I'm going to do is I just turn that around. So I'm just going to pop that into there. And I'm just going to tighten the screw on the top, which will grip the wire. Okay, I'm just going to loosen the other one because I can see it's not going to fit. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that in. And then screw that down. Okay, at this point it's worth just rechecking your connection, so just make sure, you can see we've got the positive here, which will come onto this connector, and I've connected that to the cable, if I flip that over I can see that it's got the writing on there, um, you might not be able to see that because of the video, um, so I've got positive to positive, negative to negative, okay, so that's all fine, um, what I'll then do is I'll just, as I'll, I can then put this on there, and then I can connect this up to my battery and uh, we'll see whether whether we have light. Okay, the um, clips are now on the battery which is just by my feet, uh, just out of shot you can't see that. So um, in theory I have power coming now, 12 volts DC coming through to this connection here. So if I plug this in you will see, hopefully, there you go, there's the light working and to plug the next one in there's the light working there. Um, so it really is as simple as that. In fact, the, the basic wiring is that simple. There's nothing to it. Um, what I like about these lights is that the electricity consumption is actually very, very low. Um, so they won't drain your battery too much. They'll last a long time. It's a good color of light. Um, you'll find that some LED lights give a very cold um, color. They call them the color temperature is quite high, sort of four or five thousand Kelvin. These are coming in at about three thousand Kelvin, which is considered to be quite warm. Fairly similar to a standard incandescent light bulb, and they give a really nice sort of warm, welcoming light to work under. And I've got a strip of these running across the top of my um, shed roof, which replaced um, an old um, fluorescent tube, which is uh, this unit here. Um, this unit actually came originally from a camper van. I upgraded it to a slightly better spec um, fluorescent tube um, and I used this one in my shed for a while but it does draw quite a lot of electricity um, and the, the light's not, not brilliant. It, it's okay, it's quite bright and it was good in its day but things have moved on and these LED lights are just absolutely brilliant. Um, the great thing about these, as I said, is the pack of three, um, together with the transformer, which obviously in a 12 volt system you don't use, um, is about 11 pounds um, from IKEA. Um, there obviously there are lots of other similar systems on the market. Um, you can get some which have got a greater density of LED, so they'll give you more light, but that obviously means more power consumption. Um, so the trick is finding the right sort of light um, for the conditions that you're going to uh, you're going to use it under. Um, so that's as easy as it was. I'll just um, take you now around to actually show you the full installation in my shed, so you can see exactly how it, how I've wired it up. Okay, so here we are at the end of my uh, uncommonly tidy workbench. There's a lot of rubbish I've had to move off here to make this video. It's not normally this good. And uh, I'll just show you what I've got in the shed. Um, it has been on other videos before, so excuse me if I'm repeating myself. But this is the uh, little control panel. So I've got a solar panel outside. And for this particular panel, um, I've got a charge controller here, which is telling me um, what, you know, uh, regulating the charge coming to my battery and so on and so forth. I've also got a timer um, which controls the outdoor light and this little box of tricks here which I bought from eBay for a few quid, it's actually from a caravan, it just controls distribution to the various things that will use electricity. I've also got um, an ammeter which just tells me how much electricity I'm using at any one point in time um, and I've got a little 12 volt um, plug here and a 12 volt socket there as well. The 12 volt plug by the way is just running around here and it's actually, I've looped it around this LED strip light um, and I've got uh, my light, a special spotlight working there, which is a 12 volt uh, LED light. And then I've got my LED strip light, um, which is okay, um, but a bit cold in color temperature. Um, if I go around the shed here, um, up here, I've got a switch for my main overhead light. Um, and so what I've got is actually a wire coming underneath this board, which comes up to here into the switch and then it runs through and here are the um, LED lights running down the shed. Okay, I know there's a curious effect on the camera from the LED lights, you'll see lines running down, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, um, six of the uh, these little strips 
running across the top of the shed and they give a really really good light lovely color temperature perfect for the shed obviously bigger sheds you'd need more of them or, or a higher quality a higher output type but um but pretty good all in all i'm pretty pleased with it um, some of the things I'll be doing in the future, just so you know, I'll be showing you a bit more about different types of LED bulbs. I've got sort of various types here. Um, these are all MR16, so these are all 12 volt bulbs. And the other day I actually bought um, a 12 volt soldering iron as well, which I've put um, a 12 volt plug on um, so I can do soldering in the shed as well. Um, but I'll talk about those some other time. So, so that's it. Um, really, really easy experiments, um, really easy to do how to get um, 12 volt um, LED strip lights working from, uh, from an IKEA light.